All right, now let's take a look at some sports. Here's Charles Aruka. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Welcome to Sports News. The league management company has warned supporters of Sunshine Stars, Rangers International and FC Ifanyuba to refrain from further disruptive behaviour during the remaining fixtures of the Global Premier League. In a letter signed by the chairman of the body, Shehu Diko, the clubs have been told to ensure that their fans do not breach football league rules for the remainder of the season and beyond. And in England, Chelsea striker Diego Costa is facing a three-match ban after being charged with violent conduct by the Football Association. The Spaniard has been retrospectively sanctioned for striking Arsenal defender Laurent Koscielny during his side's 2-0 win over the Gunners on Saturday. Arsenal's Gabriel Paulista, who was sent off for kicking out at Costa, has also been charged with improper conduct. A Trinidad and Tobago's Attorney General has signed authority to proceed documents clearing the way for extradition proceedings against former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner. The 72-year-old is among nine officials of the World Football Governing Body, along with five sports marketing executives indicted by U.S. sports uh, prosecutors. Mm -hmm. And Australian golfer Jason Day says he is stunned by his status as world number one. Day succeeded Rory McIlroy at the top of the latest rankings after winning the BMW Championships by six shots. He's the third Australian to reach world number one after Greg Norman and Adam Scott. And that's it on Sports News. It's back to you, Joma, with the rest of the news at 10. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Now the migrant crisis in Hungary has admitted that it's not only feeling the pinch, but the economy might be in trouble. The Hungarian Prime Minister is of the view that Europe and believes that the only way out is a united stance. Ministers from Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic and Slovenia met to discuss an EU proposal for quotas which they oppose. Some EU countries want migrants shared out more evenly across the EU. Germany and France are among those who back plans to share the burden of relocating 120,000 migrants from Greece, Italy and Hungary. And on entertainment news tonight, actor Osi Ukeje talks about his long-distance marriage with his wife. Here's Mayowa Ogundele. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. These are the top stories in the world of entertainment. The cast and crew of a new Nollywood movie, Falling, including Adesua Itomi, Blossom Chukujeku, Desmond Elliott, and others, ushered the drama to the big screens over the weekend. The Udwak Isong produced movie, which tells the story of a writer caught in a dilemma, was directed by Niyi Akimolayo. <laughs> Nollywood rave Osi Ukeji has explained why he has chosen to practice a long-distance marriage with his wife following their wedding earlier this year. The actor, who recently crossed the film border to star in a South African movie, Anyonda, told us the arrangement is not a permanent one. <laughs> Music star Two Face Edibia, who celebrated its 40th birthday over the weekend, has appealed to former Mohit stars Dibanj and Don Jazzy to make one more hit together. Two Face made the plea following Dibanj's performance of a song they collaborated on together, I'm Feeling Good, which was produced by Don Jazzy. Singer Kuhn producer Sam Clef has finally dropped his much talked about third studio album titled Sound of Music. The 14 track album features top Nigerian acts including Olamide, Lil Kesh, Vector, Falls, and Small Doctor. American actor of Nigerian descent Uzo Aduba has won a second Emmy Award for a role in the hit Netflix series Orange is a New Black. I really just want to say thank you. 
to my family who have stood beside me my entire life. My sister Chi Chi, you are my very best friend. I am humbled to call myself your sister. I love you so much. Well, that does it on STM News. Let's head back to the main news. Thanks a lot, Maya. And the main news again. Lieutenant President Bukola Saraki has broken the silence over his trial by the Code of Conduct Tribunal. Senator Saraki has agreed to appear before the tribunal tomorrow. He explained that he earlier failed to appear before the tribunal following legal advice from his counsel. And the Court of Appeal has struck out the application for stay of arrest on the Senate President. The court ruled that the parties be served notice of application. And former presidential candidate Chief Ulufalai has been kidnapped. His abductors have demanded a hundred million naira ransom. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahfunyato. You have a good night.